Hello friends, this is Durga again from ITVersity. At this time I am talking about uh, the third, third learning object to calculate aggregate statistics using Spark uh, using Python as programming language uh, which is part of transform, stage and store uh, which is the second module in certification. So I have already covered um, how to get a count of uh, the records sum and, average, uh, sum and also maximum from the totals and in this I will try to show you how to compute average from the total uh, for the totals so it, it is not by key we will try to get uh, total revenue from orders, uh, order items table and total number of uh, distinct orders uh, from uh, order items table and then we will divide uh, the total revenue from order items uh, with total distinct orders from orders table and we will get the average which will give what is the average revenue per order um, with in, in our data set. So let, uh, let me go ahead and start developing it. So first we have to read the data from orders table, orders rdd equal to sc.txt file slash user slash cloudera scoop import slash orders and hit enter sorry it, it should be order items order items rdd we cannot use orders because there are some orders which which do not make into order items they can be cancelled orders or uh, whatever it is so we will be we need to get uh, the distinct uh, count of orders uh, from order items table and also total revenue from the order items table. Uh, so if you go to Hive and uh, look at the structure of order items, order item subtotal is the one which we can use to get the revenue which is the fifth column in the table which can be um, uh, which we can retrieve by applying split command using comma as delimiter and then uh, reading the fourth element uh, for each record because the uh, elements start with zero. So here total revenue, I am directly computing total revenue from order items rdd dot map and uh, lambda rec rec dot split comma fourth element and I have to apply float on that to get the total revenue I have already explained to you in detail so I am directly um, going to reduce by k here and uh, lambda val acc plus val so the left element in this lambda is accumulator and the right element is value. So it will go through all the elements and uh, sorry, it should be reduce only not reduce by key. We have not covered reduce by key yet. Reduce by key comes into picture if you want to get the count by key rather than total or sum by key rather than total sum. So here the left element is the accumulator and the right element is value. So it's like um, for each element it will add uh, into the accumulator. So first accumulator will be 0 and uh, uh, it will be 0 plus whatever value it is and then it will be assigned to accumulator and then uh, next value will be added to the accumulator. So it's an, a moving, uh, uh, it holds the moving sum of the uh, total uh, revenue, moving sum of the revenue and hit enter. Now you can get total revenue by running this command it is 34,322,619 now we have to get the distinct records so total sorry distinct orders it will be total orders equal to order items rdd dot map order id is the second element in the table which is order item order id in uh, is the column name in the table so i have to use split again lambda rec rec dot here i have to use int function 
rec dot split sorry there is no need to yeah i have to use int function and uh, as i have I'm trying to get the uh, there is no need to apply the int function i'm sorry so here i i just have to get rec of split rec dot split comma and the first element because it's in second uh, uh, in the table and we can fetch it by using one here from the array and then i can get count directly and hit enter the count will not be accurate because uh, uh, there can be uh, redundant orders order ids because one order can have multiple order items order item id will order item id will be unique but order item order id need not be unique i have shown already in the past so we cannot use count directly instead we have to use distinct function on top of uh, the splitted data so it will get all the distinct uh, order ids and then we can apply the count and you can see the total orders here it's 57431 you can also validate without distinct and i will not be assigning to a variable it will directly display the total orders without distinct which is number of records it's 172198 Uh, which is uh, but it it has only fifty seven thousand dot distinct records. Okay, fifty seven thousand four thirty one. Now we have the uh, sum of the revenue from order items table and distinct orders. To get the average per order, we just have to divide uh, the total revenue by total orders. and hit enter you can see that it's approximately 597 um, uh, per order for overall data so this is how you can also compute average on the total data set uh, as part of the next video next few videos we will get into the quite complex use cases and uh, we will see all uh, the by key aggregation functions like count by key aggregate by key combiner by key combine by key uh, group by key reduce by key there are five of them i will try to cover all of them in next 3 4 videos that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to ask question please go to stack overflow uh, click on ask question and tag it with pi spark and apache spark i will monitor them and try to answer with uh, to the best of my knowledge and uh, if you want to discuss on the certifications please sign up to my uh, um, it university hadoop certifications group and if you want to discuss on spark itself please join my it university apache spark group and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see lot more content like this over time thank you bye